Washington, President Donald Trump gave an impromptu half-hour interview with the New York Times recently. Reporters combed through the transcript and here's a quick roundup of the false, misleading or dubious claims that he made, at rate of one claim every 75 seconds. Some of the interview was off the record, so it's possible the rate of false claims per minute is higher. Trump appears to be referring to an interview with Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, a member of the Senate Intelligence Committee. She did not flatly say there was no collusion and instead was more nuanced. Asked by a CNN reporter in early November whether she had seen any evidence that this dirt, these emails, were ever given to the Trump campaign, she replied, not so far. Tapper then asked, have you seen any communications that suggested that the Trump campaign wanted them to release them through a different means? She answered, I have not. Trump is entitled to his own opinion but he sidesteps the fact that the investigation has revealed that members of the Trump campaign interacted with Russians at least 31 times throughout the campaign. There are at least 19 known meetings, in addition to the indictments or guilty pleas of his campaign manager, national security adviser and others. John Podesta photo, AP. Trump has falsely accused Clinton campaign manager John Podesta of being involved with a Russian company. Tony Podesta co-founded the Podesta Group, a lobbying firm, with his brother John. But it's a US-based company, not a company in Russia. Trump likely is referring to the Podesta Group being paid $170,000 over six months to represent Spivak, a Russian bank. The Podesta Group said its work for Spivak USA was never about getting sanctions lifted, and was simply about helping to clarify to what extent our client, the US subsidiary of Spivak, was subject to sanctions. We confirmed they were not. As for alleged collusion between the Democrats and Russia, Trump is referring to the fact that Fusion GPS, the political research firm which assembled the dossier as part of an assignment for Democrats, relied on a British intelligence agent who used Russian sources for his research. So that's a rather big stretch.